We were given matrix A, which is a three by four matrix, and we're also given the matrix in row echelon form here in the second matrix. I've also found the reduced row echelon form here on the far right. We're asked to find a basis for the column space of A. For a quick review, if A is an n by n matrix with column vectors A sub one through A sub n, then the column space of A is equal to the span of the vectors A sub one through A sub n. Notice our matrix is a three by four matrix. The four columns give us four vectors, A sub one through A sub four. The column space of matrix A is a span of those four vectors. The column space is a subspace of Rm, or in our case, R3, containing all the linear combinations of the vectors A sub one through A sub four. We know that column space is a subspace of R3 because notice how each column has a vector containing three components. The pivot columns or independent columns of matrix A form a basis for the column space. To find the pivot columns or independent columns, we solve A times vector x equals a zero vector. Once we identify the pivot columns, the basis will be the corresponding column vectors from the original matrix A. And again, because we already have the row echelon form and reduced row echelon form of matrix A, we simply have to determine the pivot columns. Notice in row echelon form, as well as reduced row echelon form, we have a pivot in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column four. This indicates the pivot columns or independent columns are column one, column two, and column three from the original matrix A. Identifying column one, column two, and column four of the original matrix A, we know a basis for the column space of A contains these three vectors. I hope you found this helpful.